costume Jake. Because we haven't seen that yet. And I'll do costume Pierre's. With my... Jesus Christ, he is like swagged out with Resident Evil stuff. He's basically like a walking billboard, is what it is. <laughs> That's what they did to him. They put him in a new character, they killed him, and then made him a walking billboard. <laughs> that, that's pretty much what they've done. <laughs> they've got BSAA, they've got a big fat fucking Capcom logo on there, they've got Biohazard, like... Yeah, man. Pierre's can sell out because he's not coming back for another game, Yeah, I right. Guess. It's like, fuck it, I'm dead. I can do whatever I want. Yeah, I do. I do like this map. This is one of my favorite areas of the game too. Yeah, just in general, you, can, you just can't go wrong with like a creepy crypt in a in a Resident Evil game. <laughs> oh my god, I even have Capcom's name like written on my ass. It's great. Well, well, that's what I was saying. Like even on the the front of the jacket, like on the chest area, it's just like this big fat Capcom logo. The front, the back, on my face. <laughs> My name was legally changed to Capcom. You have it tattooed on your forehead. And Fuck yeah. I would also have to say that Jake's costume is my least favorite. <laughs> yeah. Because there's no, like, theme to it. It's just, like, some, like, I don't know. It's like a poor, like, 90s throwback is what it is. I don't know. At least, at least I'm not really defending it, but at least with Sherry's, it's like a throwback to her outfit in 2. But Jake's is just like, yeah, you're right. It's just like, what is this? They just kind of threw it together. I don't even know what this is. Like, I guess you can't really throw back a character that's never been in. Yeah, but you gotta but give him, like, you, you gotta give him, like, style or something. They could have gave him, like, a cool, like, better mercenaries outfit than what he had. You know what they could have done? What? They could have made him look like Wesley. They could have made him into a ninja. Yeah, they could have given him like the long coat, and and he could have kept the glasses. Shave his head, glasses, long coat. Just yeah, they, they really could have done that. I think that was a miss. Wait, Wesker didn't have a shaved head. Didn't he? No, he was blonde, wasn't he? Oh yeah, that's right. Huh? I don't know where that came from. <laughs> I, I mean, like, Jake's kind of got a shaved head. No, I just I don't even know where that came from. I was like shaved head. Who am I thinking of? I don't know. Wesker's not bald, though. No, he's not. Kill him, Pierce. Thank you. Yeah, we have to go through like a long execute. I was a fall. I'm a little too drunk. Um, <laughs> just, uh, just putting out some trivia too. I, I, we talked about this because we were looking up some stuff on the wiki and whatever. But Jake is the same age as we are. He was yeah. born in. 92, which is strange, because he looks way older. Yeah, I would pick him at, like, late 20s, early 30s, not... Yeah, yeah, definitely. And Sherry's older than him, and I'm okay. like, what? That, like, yeah, that was that a thing? That was bizarre. I cannot believe Sherry is older than Jake. That's weird. Oh, fuck, there's spikes. I can't go around, but there's a time bonus over there. Yeah, I can get to it right now. Okay. It was dangerous coming this way. I took many risks. Oh, well, I'm glad you did, because I sure didn't. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. Take risks. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm not seeing a whole lot here. There, I got a guy's puking on me. Gross. That's what I'm saying. This is, uh, uh, he, uh... He's got an okay setup, actually, regardless of the, the crazy costume. He's got an okay setup. Yeah, I didn't think Piers a setup, just regular Piers a setup is bad either. I, I, Actually, I feel like with him and Sherry, you run out of ammo really fast, but um, they're not like, ter it's not terrible. Well, at least Piers has the, the amazing one-shot sniper. Damn it. Yeah. Huh. That's also a really good gun to use in the campaign, too. Yeah. Chris really didn't have anything like that. He had a sniper rifle, didn't he? Yeah, but it wasn't a, it was a semi-auto, not a, a 50 cal one-shot kill. Hmm. Interesting. Like, I think Piers has, I think that's like his specific, yeah. like, unique weapon, because remember that chat, that first chapter we did where you kept dying and I kept <laughs> having to try and 
sh um, shoot the gas tank or whatever. Like they specifically give you that gun. Yeah. That oh, part okay. Of the game, That's cool. Right? Because because you have to put on the um, whatever mode it is. I want to say infrared, but that's not right. Um, thermal. Thermal, yep. That's the word I'm looking for. And then I, like, never used the thermal <laughs> aspect of it after that. Oh. Uh, I don't know why. Just no no, no need to, I guess. Yeah, no, I don't know. It's I don't like it when they introduce, like, uh, something like that and then don't give you a reason to use it, you know? Kind of don't feels utilize like a, yeah, it, yeah. It's like, kind of like a waste. It's like, well, this was a cool idea, but I never needed it, so whatever. I mean, I guess the same could be said for, like, the stun rod. Like, I never use Sherry's stun rod because I find it, like, slower than the knife. But at, at least there's an extensive storyline period where you're you're forced to use it. You don't just use it one time and then that's it. Yeah. It's kind of more of a novelty, and but, uh, but I still like it. It just, I don't know. It's useless in Mercenaries, though. Yeah, it is. God, people are throwing fire at me. Don't do that. Where are the... Well, I got quite a few over here. I'm not really finding a good um, place in this map. Like, it's, no. it's actually really small when it comes down to it. Like, it's all interwound together. Yeah, I agree. It is actually deceptively small. And, uh, no, there's no, there's nowhere to, like, put your back to. Yeah, you're very exposed in this map. And, uh, these... Oh. Yeah. These like crypt zombies. Some of them have like armor, and it's kind the of armor. It's yeah. it's weird too, cause like with the uh, the military zombies, like you know, like okay, I gotta shoot their head. I can't shoot the body. With these guys, it's like like their left chest is exposed, but not their right, and then their head is guarded, but not their left leg. Like weird yeah. stuff like that. Um, this might actually not be a bad place to sit. Yeah, right over Because that we can sit against a wall. One of us can guard one hallway, and one of us can look at the other one, I guess. Yeah, that works. Oh, I sniped that bloodshot right in the heart with a quick shot. Nice. That was actually pretty wicked. Ooh. Huh. <laughs> I just look so... I don't know, like, I look like a guy who could be, uh... Like those guys who uh, like refuel and retire like uh, race cars on a racetrack. Yeah, yeah. I think that's kind ah. of the point. What does your butt say? Other, <laughs> than, other than Cap, oh, other than Capcom. Does it say something zombie, else? Zombie, zombie colossus. It's awesome. Like. That's what I always wanted my butt to say. Cause the cost, for some reason, the costume is mostly just a reference to Resident Evil, but also to Dead Rising. Yeah. I mean. Capcom has done a lot more than just Dead Rising and Resident Evil, but for some reason they're seemingly to go hand in hand in terms of like Easter eggs. They're both zombie games, I guess. That's. I guess so. Well, they're both like two of their biggest titles, but I mean, Capcom's also done like Monster Hunter. Yep. Which is which is huge. Like it's a huge, a huge title, right? So it's not like it's their only thing no. that they've done. Yeah. I don't know. Did Capcom do Mega Man too? They did do Mega Man. Yeah, so I mean, they have a lot of stuff going for them. Uh, they need to continue with Mega Man. If they would listen to their fan base, oh. <laughs> then we would be getting somewhere. Well, like, but, uh, I, I don't know how they're doing now, but they were kind of a prime example of how to make your fan base pissed off and then screw your customers and be in trouble, so. They didn't go bankrupt, so that's good, but. I, I, we all thought that we were going to. Yeah. It was like, oh god, we'll go bankrupt. It, it would have been like Sega all over again, I mean. Pulled through. Oh, I have herbs. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm like, I wonder if I have herbs. I have 12, actually, which is pretty good. Oh my god, I missed. I'm sorry. That's alright. Oh god, we have the gas zombie here. Oh, do we? Yeah. There haven't been like like we we've had a lot of crypt zombies, but not a lot of uh, I mean we've had bloodshots, crypt zombies. That's about it, really. Yeah. Sorry, Skype call is cutting out, so I didn't quite oh, hear you it? there. Oh, yeah, it's it better now. Gonna... But it, but it just dropped what you said like after we've had a lot of, and I was like, I didn't. I you. said I'm dying. Help me. Because <laughs> <laughs> the 
Because, yeah, because I was making a call about Mega Man. He, like, ignored me, and I was like, Oh, ah, no, no, no. Ah. I said, I said, yes, they did make Mega Man, and I wish they would continue to make Mega Man. They canceled Legends, which I wasn't up to date with, but they canceled it, and they haven't talked about Mega Man since, as far as I know. But I was just thinking, it's kind of like a blessing. I think that they haven't. They've kind of realized that, hey, Mega Man's, like, good, and we don't want to fuck it up, so yeah. let's just leave it alone. Because, I mean, you look at something like Sonic, and it's uh, like, wow, you guys fucked that one up. Yeah. Uh, I mean, which is Nintendo, it's a different company, but it's the same thing. It's like taking an old title and trying to keep it alive, even though there's no point. Like, I don't know. There are some, like, I'm sure there are fans who really like it when they grew up with it. Like, I played Sonic 3, and that was, like, it. So I can't really relate to... Sonic. He should go to a little island and eat his corn dogs or whatever <laughs> he eats. I don't all day <laughs> and just, just stop. Just stop. Just no. Or I think it's I think it's chili dogs, but anyways, Is it? yeah. Yeah, one of the two. Okay. <laughs> Shows how well I know him. Bam. On. There we go. Trying to shoot a zombie in the leg is almost harder than trying to shoot it in the head, especially when it's moving. You know, I like the atmosphere of this map, but I gotta say, it's actually kind of slow paced just because we keep fighting the same type of zombies. It's like, eh. Yeah, we've just had the regular zombies, the gas zombie, and the blood shots, and that's it. Yeah, that's it. I don't know. I think we could have done a little more down here. We should have had, like... Oh, you know, I wonder, because I know you can trigger the B.O.W.s on this map. On all the yeah. maps, but... I wonder if the fish is the B.O.W. for this map. Oh god, that would be brutal. Be fucking awesome. But yeah, I know what you mean. Like, they're, like, they're slow enemies, so it kind of feels yeah. slow. Because even the gas one like, was chasing after me, but I basically just backed up a little bit, loaded up my sniper rifle, and took it out no problem. Yeah, right. Um, whereas if you have something like, even like the big guys, like they're pretty oh, fast for their size. We did have one big guy earlier on. So something like that would have been kind of intense, especially since there's not a lot of room. Yeah, yep. You know? Kind of a little disappointing. We probably won't be getting an S or even an A on this one. I uh, yeah, I doubt it. That's kind of half the problem too, because we're well, we when we drop the combo a couple oh. of times. Speaking of which, are you okay? Yeah, I was just I couldn't get the quick time. Oh, now I'm not okay. Now I'm not. I couldn't get the buttons fast enough, and they were eating me. And we have 30 seconds left, and I don't want to die and have to redo this. <laughs> what? That so, would never happen. You know. That's never happened. That's never happened at all. Not once. Nope. Not ever. Uh -uh. We've never died at the last minute. We've never died, period. When we were doing well. <laughs> <laughs> That's never happened. Never. Although I am happy to see that we're just killing zombies in this one. Just plain, regular, yeah. run-of-the-mill zombies. So I guess, like, yeah, I think it made it... We like we did drop the combo a couple times, but it, I, I feel like it made it a little bit harder to get a high score, but... If you just want a map that's you know doesn't have anything stressful, then that's a good map. That's a good practice map, it's just to see, just to kind of test drive what characters maybe you want to use. Like you can kind of use different guns and yeah, I would say test so. them out. Like that's a good map for that, as well as the first one, the Urban Chaos, is the same 